Hi friends, welcome to You Can Get Healthy Naturally. If you're new to my channel, I'm Jennifer Parsley and I have a website, youcangethealthynaturally.com, powerful natural health solutions. I love sharing about natural ways to lose weight, prevent and reverse disease, and today we are making a five ingredient Snickers pie cooking from blogs recipe one of our favorite cooking blogs the happy pair this is a irish twins and they have great whole foods plant-based natural recipes my husband simon and i have been working on getting off the sugar train so this is a dessert a rich dessert we'll be having small slices of it that does not have any added sugar. Although I guess there is some sugar in the chocolate chips that I'm melting, but it's good vegan dark chocolate. So very low sugar dessert, which we'll have little slices of. So today I have massage clients. If any of y'all are in Memphis, come see me at the Memphis Wellness Collective. Awesome trigger point release work that I do for people's necks. Um, anyways, that's my other job. So we're gonna make this awesome dessert. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and how I pull this together. Let's get started. So here's what I'm up to, friends. This is a homemade double boiler that is hot. I am not grabbing that with my bare hand, which is just a pot with some boiling water and a bowl that happened to fit in there and I am melting down the amount of chocolate that I'm gonna need for my Snickers pie. And then I have a nice pie plate, I think this used to be my grandmother's, that I have smeared a tiny bit of coconut oil on the pie plate. And we have some pre-cooked sweet potato that is gonna go in the filling and some creamy peanut butter. This is all natural peanut butter, only ingredients are peanuts and salt. And over here, we have some cashews soaking and some dates soaking, and then I have some more dates that are gonna go into the crust. These ones happen to be medjool dates that I think are already naturally juicier than other dates, and these are a little bit drier, which is why I'm soaking them. Those will go into the filling. So cashews and dates are gonna mix together. I am gonna drain these cashews. The recipe information will be down below for y'all and cashews and dates in the food processor. We're gonna press that in here for the crust. And then we are going to have some dates, peanut butter, sweet potato, and chocolate in our Snickers pie filling. This is looking good, y'all. Here is my cashew and date crust, all pressed into my big pie pan. I did use their tip of using a little bit of parchment underneath my fingers to press everything because it was sticky. And this is my creamy, lovely Snickers pie filling full of chocolatey peanut butter goodness and some sweet potato. A lot of healthy fiber actually in here with the dates and the sweet potato. So I'm going to get this together and show you what the final pie looks like. Here is our five ingredient Snickers pie in all its beautiful chocolate peanut butter glory. This looks delicious. I've got about three hours before dinner, so I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator to chill instead of the freezer. And we are going, this is quite rich. So, oops, stuck my finger in there. This is quite rich, so we're going to probably cut that into eight pieces. And for Simon and I, this will be dessert pretty much all week long. This looks like it turned out great. I'm glad I shared this recipe with y'all. This is our pup, Riley. I just wanted to let you know that Riley absolutely loves this recipe because two of his favorite foods in the world are sweet potatoes and peanut butter. And he got sweet potato skins and he got to lick the peanut butter spoon from this recipe. Oh, it's good stuff, wasn't it, Riley? Oh, Mr. Grayface, almost 13. <laughs> Riley approves of Happy Pear Snickers pie. Look at this. Not only did Riley get to lick the peanut butter spoon and have some sweet potato skins, 
his mama is going to get to lick some of this chocolate peanut butter goodness. I haven't touched it. I put it all in a pile over here because I am clean fasting right now, which means I'm only having water to your coffee. But when I am ready to break my fast, I am going to have a sneak peek little taste test of that Snickers pie filling. Here's a look at the pie after it chilled and we dish some up for dessert. Definitely eight good sized pieces. I hope you enjoyed this five ingredient Snickers pie recipe from the Happy Pear, a cooking from blogs recipe. If you give this one a try, feel free to put a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. I can already tell that we're gonna love this one. And I love the fact that there's really no added sugars to this, just the bit that's in the dark chocolate. So I will put the recipe, the Happy Pear recipe down below for y'all. If you like these videos, feel free to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and my new website is youcangethealthynaturally.com. I'll put that information down below as well. If you think you might be interested in working with me for using simple lifestyle changes, natural methods for losing weight, preventing and reversing disease, getting your health on track. I have a free natural health breakthrough session where we'll go through and identify top five things that may be holding you back with your health and the number one thing that you would need to do to move forward. Just an option for y'all. I'll put the information down below and I hope you enjoyed this fairly healthy, whole food, plant-based dessert idea. And I will see you next week, friends.